each week, Dr. Shin Chow and I put out a uh, weekly uh, crop water use uh, numbers for the Panhandle area crops. Uh, we get these numbers uh, based on what the ET reading is off of an ET gauge or what our uh, local weather stations uh, indicate. It is the previous uh, readings, uh, what the, is based off the al alfalfa crop. From those, we take those readings and uh, we use them and convert them to what the other crops would use based on that crop's uh, certain crop growth stage. There's what they call a KC value that we multiply by the uh, ET number and we come up with the estimated crop water use for that crop at that crop growth stage. Then we take and publish those on uh, various websites and in various news outlets. Uh, one is uh, the Panhandle Research and Extension Center Ag Lab, Water Ag Lab webpage. You can find it there. Uh, you can find it on uh, UNL's uh, Crop Watch webpage each week and uh, other news outlets. So we want those numbers. We put those out so that growers can if they want, take those numbers and try to determine how much irrigation water they would apply. So they would take that estimated crop water use for the previous week, subtract out any precipitation and any water they may have applied, and then uh, divide it by the estimated uh, efficiency of their pivot and they'll come up with a number. If it's a positive number, that would indicate how much water they would need to apply through their pivot to make up the difference. If it's a negative number, that would indicate that uh, they would not need to add any more water, that they're working on a water balance. And if you need more information, you can contact me, Gary Stone, at gstone2 at unl.edu.